Sagittarius, brothers, sisters, yes, I can say that. God, it made me feel really good, like I'm a preacher. My brothers and my sisters, said Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars. So, you know, I think I qualify. I finally joined some Sagittarius groups, so I don't know. For a lot of part of my life, until I started loving myself, man, I was down on Sagittarius. Like, I never thought of Sagittarius and anything positive. <laughs> it was all the negative things about Sag, which I won't go into, because they're well covered, I'm sure. Um, but I love my Sag now. So, let's see what we got. This reads the one saw on your mind, once in your heart. Uh, eight card pull in the shape of a heart. Gonna get some advice for you and your person and for the relationship as a whole. And, um, See what we got first half of uh, October. Check out the Soul Family read. Um, it's uh, on Fridays always sad in Capricorn Day. I should point out. I do have a singles read now. Meet soulmate. That's if you basically have no one on your mind. Kind of the opposite of this reading. Um, but Soul Family's collective read for whoever resonates. So uh, check it if you want. Think Terrence McKenna. Find the others on that reading. Ten of Wands, you've had enough, Sag. This is your energy in around relationships where you're at, uh, your heart, your mind right now. Um, this I like to read this kind of as a baseline. It's not necessarily here yet about your person, um, but you're so you're coming into this relationship, whether it happened five years ago or it's just happening, um, you know, feeling burdened still. Like really, you'd be really wanting to put these burdens down. Um, it does imply to me, it's not good energy to come into relationship with you, okay? Um, and, but it does imply to me that you're, you're about done with something. Obvious thing, that's shout, this is shouting, whatever you do, don't dump these onto the new person. Because again, this is kind of your energy at a baseline, not really about your new person yet. And here's your person, at Eight of Pentacles. Now, they would be a good one to dump things on because they're this eight of pentacles energy there's someone that gets something done uh they're a good worker if there's any question here sag they're reliable probably an earth sign you know taurus capricorn person uh, very most likely virgo person um virgo comes to mind too because it's a worker card the eight of pentacles i love the eight of pentacles it's such a positive card. So right now I'm getting all kind of positive vibes off of them. And I just said, like, don't put your stuff down on them. I think that's what you're doing, <laughs> you know. Uh, and they'd likely take those sticks and build a table out of them for y'all, your person. So I don't know. Eight of Pentacles pretty solid. Maybe they can handle it. Let's see. The world. Okay, Wow. So this is how you feel about them now, Sag. And um, I am a Sag, and I that almost brings a tear to my eyes. That's exactly how I feel. Like they're the world, they're the world to me. There's no other way to see that. It's like a very literal read here. I haven't had literal reads in a long time. Thank you, Spirit. Kind of like it. Moves along fast too. I do look at the bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles. Just kind of consider that now. I didn't before. But it ends uh, in air stability, 9, almost 10. I've got the feeling you, you want to put these wands down. It's like you know you need to put them down. You're like, I've been carrying them forever. Where's the village? I'm ready to watch some Netflix. <laughs> I don't think they got Netflix. So let's see how your person's feeling about you. Queen of Wands, I love it. Wow. They like your burden. I swear to God. It's like, okay, I said they're going to build a table. I was wrong. Eh, I was wrong. They're going to build a fire. <laughs> they're taking this, your, all of your uh, sticks here, and they're going to build a bonfire. And you're all going to sit around the bonfire at night and uh, drink some 20-year-old uh, scotch and uh, tell each other your stories. And you really turn them on here with this Queen of Wands here, guys. Um, oh, so far, so good. I mean... If they make you feel like the world and you make them feel like the queen of wands, a uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. What, let's just, we're done. Sad. Have a good one. Great heart spread. All right. Now, justice. This is your advice from spirit towards this person, Sad. 
I'm going literal today, and I'm thinking like there might be a little hang up of marriage over here with your person here. <clears throat> and could be one of those things, nothing uh, nefarious. Uh, they're just never got divorced. They uh, was somebody's Catholic. Uh, it happens here in Mexico. Um, somebody um, has, they have insurance uh, through their partner, and you know they their partner cares, and they're like, yeah, I gotta we gotta stay married, or else what do you do for your health? And maybe you know um, that happens too. Um, but being advice from spirit, it's like um, you need to you need something from your person. That would represent justice to you and I, I don't know what that is because I don't see I see you coming in with a burden I see them coming in very clean so let's see what their advice is a hermit Wow I get this advice uh, maybe they don't want to take take your uh, burden here you know with the, the hermit card facing justice a major con the major Kana. And this is the advice from spirit for them towards you. Um, I'm going another way on this. I have to reverse them so you see. The hermit's looking at justice. And he's got his light out there. And I see him. He's like outside of his cave. He's come outside of his cave with his light. And I think he wants to receive this justice. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's a receptive energy that they have, and the, the Hermit is always that energy that points at the self, and when they have Eight of Pentacles, I tend to think of that as someone who's done the self work, the work of self, really have a hard time seeing them being married, they can get caught up into that thing where it's that, it's a kind of married that sort of doesn't matter, I mean, you know, you don't want to pull your ex's insurance if they're going to die the world, you know, because you don't have insurance. Um, it's almost like you're demanding something from them and they're willing to give it to you. I think what they're giving to you here, Sag, is some truth about themselves. Not a truth. Uh, trust. You need to trust them. And I think you do. That's what this is showing. Um... And this is trusting very deeply, like like the George Bush. You remember, I, I looked into his soul. This is you look. You need to look into their soul and really trust what you see there. And and it's almost he's putting a lantern out there, saying like, here, I want you to get a good look into my soul. Like, Tell me where the light's best. But go ahead, look. I'm good. I'm free. Look, because this person's clean. I'm telling you, Sage. It's, it's up to you if you love them or not. Make you feel like the world. Something going on, and you're firing them up like the Queen of Wands. It's all kind of passionate, and they're all kind of available to you. It's a little submissive too, Sag, to you. Um, they might, they would take your. <laughs> I think they would take your uh, burden here, uh, if in a minute, if they could. So if whatever it is that you need here, maybe this submission, maybe to really see into the person. I, maybe you need to know that they're harmless. You need to really know that. That comes to my mind. Now, this is your advice from spirit for the relationship as as a whole. This is, doesn't mean it's over. It means it needs a minute. That's got to be the hanged man here with, and the crux of the relationship here in the heart and um, advice for the relationship as a whole. Um, it also could be speaking to something not being seen. Page of Swords. There's something needs to be said. That's what this is about. Um, there's still something not being said. This is kind of minor, though. I think it's on both of your parts. And maybe I get the feeling maybe you understand this, that you need some time. Um, so this is not a bad thing. It's like, because I read this relationship as being pretty new. So, you know, really at this point, would you be moving in or getting married? Uh, probably not. So, um, uh, this hangman is you guys dating, getting to know each other. And that's kind of what this page of swords is. It's uh, telling us tell the story. You're telling them your story. They're telling you uh, their story. 
Um, and I think like all the while, you feel like and for you to have justice, you need to know what they really are inside. And I think with them being the hermit, man, you can just trust Sagittarius. Whatever they're telling you, telling you is the truth. They're really, they know themselves. That's the point. Like if you ask somebody, are you really good person or whatever? You're not really you're not introspective. What do you know? You know, well, I haven't killed anybody. This person, they know themselves. They know their soul. They can describe their soul to you. What I'm saying, well, however they describe it, is going to be accurate, Sag. Ten of Swords. Look at that. Ten of Wands and a Ten of Swords. Whew. I want to clarify this, but I think, you know, it's something needs to end. It does seem like on your part, I note there's an ace of, a page of swords here, this communication. So that also might be why there's a hangman. It could be, just as I said, could be a marriage is involved. And maybe what you're looking at in them is like, are you really not in love with them anymore? Or is it really over? Uh, uh, you know, maybe it is like they're saying, I can't divorce them for whatever reason. And you're kind of like, well, maybe that means they're really still in love with them. Um, and you need to know that, and that's what this, your, you know, period of time is. I, I don't know that I even see it as it breaks. <clears throat> it's just, there's going to be this period of time where you guys are going to both be trying to look at things from a different perspective, which that's just a relationship. You're going to be, hopefully, if it's a good one, you're, they're going to be trying to look at things from your perspective, Sad, and you're going to be trying to look at things from their perception, and it's going to take a lot of talk, you know, talk, always talk about it, you know, that's what this is about. And it's going to lead to an ending. I think this could be for both of you as an outcome. Um, and I don't, I don't really see it's the end of the relationship here. No. You guys, it's going to be the beginning of the relationship, you know. I mean, you've got this burden here, Sag. Ten of Wands. I don't know what that is. But you, I told you, don't put that on your person. That's just not how you do it. So you, you've got to get rid of that before you can have a relationship. Hang, man. Okay. And your person here is in hermit energy, he needs to be by themselves, need to look at themselves, it's vice from spirit. So, you know, what's that? That's also kind of the hanged man, needs a break, needs time, needs to be seen from a different direction. And you get to this two of cups energy as a couple, it's like you will, you're not yet ready to be a couple, but you will get there by having this conversation, being open and honest, resolving your situation. There's at least one marriage here maybe two, I mean, whatever your Ten of Wands burden is, unburdening yourselves, and that's going to take time and, and coupling, and it's not going to be easy, you know? There's going to be some pain that comes with it, but that's how you get to the Two of Cups, which is a pretty damn good outcome, ultimate outcome for a heart spread, and for you, Sag. Thank you, guys.